My name is Sean Crowley and I'm a software engineer at Datarium. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to deal with a situation when you have multiple FASTQ files for a single sample. As usual, to add a sample, we'll hit the Add Sample button. Then, you have to enter data based on the workflow selected. I already have mine filled out. And when you get to adding a file, note that the sample folder for your file, for your sample, will initially be empty. I've already uploaded these files. When you do go to upload your files, you can do this in two ways. You can either drag and drop from your folder or click the upload button and then select all of the samples that you would want to upload. <coughs> I already have my files uploaded, but it's very important to note that the file must be completed before they can be selected as inputs. The process of uploading files may take some time, so be sure to wait until they finish before moving on to the next step. Once they have finished, we can select these files as inputs. I was selecting for read one, so I'll select those read one files. And then for read two, we'll do the same thing. Please note, and this is very important, that the order of these files matters. Our system will order them alphabetically, so depending on what your files are named, they may appear in different orders. Please be sure to check to make sure that the order is the same on both reads. If they're out of order, your sample run will fail. Once they are uploaded and selected, you can then save the sample like normal, and the analysis will begin.